hey guys welcome back to my channel so by the title of this video you guys already know that i'm going to be doing a get ready with me chit chat um q a type of video so i haven't really done a get ready with me in so long so i was like you know what let me do a little quick get ready with me um and you guys know that i don't ever really do like a dramatic look so this is pretty much like my everyday look it's just a very simple look so um this is what I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this look and I'll be showing you guys the products and then whatever I mention will be down in the description box because um, I'm going to be talking and I probably won't be able to show you guys everything that I use but I'll try to put names of everything that I use so most of these products that I'm using right now is what I use on a regular like on a daily sometimes I switch up the foundations or like the lip color but mostly everything that I will be using is what I use on a regular basis so um, I hope that you guys enjoy the video and let's go ahead and get started okay guys so first i'm gonna go ahead and get started with my face base my primer whatever you guys want to call it so what i've been using lately and i've been like obsessed with it's actually kind of like an old not old but it's kind of like an older um product but it is the um face base from bobby brown this one is a vitamin rich face base and this product is so bomb so jasmine's actually the one that put me on but the crazy thing is that i used it for a little bit and i wasn't really into it until like lately i was like okay let me try this and i've been using it ever since and i love it i feel like it makes my face and like my makeup just look so smooth so i just put a little bit um on my fingers and then i just rub them like this um i kind of just put it all over my face it's such and it smells so 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 bomb i love it my all-time favorite primer is the um benefit poreless no professional um primer but um i ran out of it and i haven't gone to the store and i haven't like shopped for makeup lately so i've just been using this one and it's so bomb so let me look at my questions so I can answer some of them while I get ready. So a lot of these questions are actually about me and George. So I kind of want to leave those so me and George can do a Q&A. Like I want to convince him to do a Q&A. So I think I should probably not answer those questions. I'll answer some but I don't think I'll answer all of them just so I can have um, something to talk about with me and him. When I freaking convince him to do it. One of the first questions it says how long have you lived in CARP? So I've actually lived in CARP like most of my life. So I came here when I was about six or seven. I think I was like six. And um, I don't know if you guys knew, but I was born in Mexico. So I've been here ever since. So I've been living here like 20 plus years. And I honestly love it. Like I wouldn't have, I couldn't have picked a, well, my family couldn't have picked a better place in CARP. I love CARP so much. It's like a small town, but like I just love it here. So um, the foundations that I've been using lately, so I kind of mix them. It's kind of like a weird mixture because one of them is like a high-end foundation. Another one is like a drugstore. But the my all-time favorite foundation is the YSL um, All Hours Foundation, which is this one right here. And then um, I've been mixing it with the Revlon Color Stay this one right here and honestly i feel like when i combine them it's just like the perfect shade because this one is a little bit too i think dark for me i'm not sure but i like mixing them and then in the all hours foundation i'm in a bd45 and then in the um color stay i am 295 so anyways um i just like to do two pumps of this one the ysl and then i do two pumps of the Revlon as well and sometimes I do a little bit more and then I just take like any little brush and I like to just mix it and if you guys hear um a baby or like kids in the background it's my sister's kids um they're in the living room and I'm in my room but you can kind of hear them I think you can hear them because I can hear them so I kind of just do that and then whatever I have left over I just kind of just do this and I feel like I'm telling you guys when I mix them I get like the perfect shade so I'm so down my mirror's not even on. I was like, why can't I see like okay, but there we go. So I just do these like these and then um I just I like to go in with my foundation brush and the one that I use is the Sigma Flat Kabuki. I have a bunch of Sigma brushes, but the flat ones are like my favorite ones. So I just like to go in and just kind of like I know it kind of looks like I'm doing it like really rough, but I'm really not. Just seems like it. 
so i always like to do i like to have two layers just because i feel like i have a lot of like acne scars um i don't really have a lot of acne right now i feel like i have my moments when i, I break out a lot and then there's times where like my face is pretty clean but right now i don't actually have any breakouts i just have a lot of acne scars so I always like to bring it down to my neck. I'm pretty sure we've all done it before where like you wear your makeup and then you can just see the line right here of like where your makeup ends. So just make sure that you always, always blend it out. And I do like to blend it out to my hair as well. So um, as you guys can tell, like you guys can still see, I don't know if you can tell, but you guys can still see like a little bit of the acne scar. So whatever I have left over on my hand, I just grab it and just kind of like pat it on at first like this and then um sometimes i like to use a beauty blender like it just depends like what i'm feeling like sometimes i do like to use a beauty blender but sometimes i just like to use my brushes so my favorite beauty blender at the moment is this one right here it's not really a beauty blender it's more like a makeup sponge but i'm so used to calling all of these beauty blenders but this one's actually from araceli beauty I'm telling you guys, this sponge is so, so bomb. You guys are, like, you guys need to try it out. I'm, I don't know if you guys have heard about Aseli Beauty, but if you guys haven't, you guys need to check it out. So, that's what um my face looks like after I applied my foundation. A lot of people ask, how did you enjoy me? So, I think I'm going to leave that for when me and him do a video because I kind of want to tell you guys the story behind it. But we've actually known each other, so that's a little, so as you guys can know that. Um, I'm gonna answer this one though. Are you and George planning on living together? So me and George actually do live together now. I don't think I ever talked about it just because it kind of just happened um, when this whole like quarantine was going on. So I didn't really have a chance to like talk to you guys about it, but it was just kind of like we were always together and then we just talked about it and like we wanted to move out on our own, but it's just it's hard, especially like where we live, everything is so expensive. So we just decided to move in together for now. And um, yeah, so we've been living together for like two months now, I think. And um, yeah, it's been it's been fun. It's been good times, you know. We get along pretty good, so um, that's a good thing. And then actually the next question is um, kind of ties it all together with him like living with me. It says, um, did you stop working because of the virus and did you have any plans before the quarantine those are two different questions but they were asked by the same person and honestly um my our plans before the quarantine were that we were going to try to like get our own place and like move out together uh, but obviously when the whole quarantine has, thing started happening like i had to stop working so yeah to answer the question i did have to stop working because of the virus so i am currently not working and then um obviously he had to stop working as well but the good thing is that he's already back to work so that's a really good thing but it kind of pushed our plans back of getting our own place because obviously like we weren't getting an income for a while and then obviously i tried like getting unemployment and my unemployment has just been like so hard like it hasn't gone through so it's already been since march that i haven't had like any income so it kind of sucks and then obviously he went back to work so that's the good thing that he was able to go back to work and he was able to take care of that so um yeah so to answer the question like this quarantine did affect us because obviously we did plan to like move out soon but now it's like we can't because we didn't have that income did you get new tattoos if you did what do they mean to you okay so i actually did get a new tattoo and it is um this one right here I'll show you guys this butterfly so um me and my best friend decided to get this tattoo we got it at the same time butterfly tattoo is kind of more like gross and like just i don't know just it was just like positive vibes with like the um the butterfly so we wanted to like plan to get a tattoo together so we ended up going with this butterfly and the funny thing is that i have a rose already here so she already has a rose as well but it's not the same as mine it's different and then she ended up getting the butterfly like right next to it i'm gonna see if i have a picture of us with our our tattoos together so i can show you guys or if not i'll have her send me a picture and i'll and like i'll insert the clip but yeah that's my newest tattoo and i've been wanting to get more tattoos but right now obviously with this whole like quarantine like 
it's kind of hard to get tattoos so yeah that's my newest tattoo and then there's these two questions that are kind of the same one of them says would you want any more kids later in life and then when will you be having another baby those were asked for two different people but they're kind of like the same you know but yes i do want more kids um actually me and george have talked about it and he really wants a baby and um i do too my only like my only concern is just not having a place of our own before having a baby because obviously like i just don't want us to be too crowded but i feel like at the end of the day like we can make it work but um i do want to have a baby like i've been having baby fever for like the past year especially when i see like pictures of sebastian when he was a baby i was like oh my god and then so many people like around me having babies and i'm just like i want to have a baby so um i don't know i feel like once this whole quarantine is over it's gonna be like a good time to actually talk about it but uh, trust me you guys like we talk about it all the time and i definitely want to have kids with george like i think we're at the like we haven't been like together for that long but it's like when you know you want something and you know like they're the one like yeah i don't know you guys know what i mean so yeah i do plan on having babies with him um i don't know how soon i'm telling you guys like i feel like this whole quarantine kind of like messed up all our plans but hopefully hopefully we can um plan to have a baby soon so we shall see how that goes i'm using the Too Faced born this way um eternal setting powder that's what it looks like once i'm done like putting it with my beauty blender i always like to just go on with like a brush and just kind of like pat my whole face again with this powder this powder is actually pretty good honestly i used to not be a big fan of it because i used to like the peach one but once I ran out of the peach one, I had no choice and I had to use this one. And I, I guess I just kind of grew to like love it, you know. So somebody asked me, how is your relationship with Beauty Bird? So um, my relationship with Jasmine is great. Like um, obviously you guys don't see us like hanging out anymore because of the whole quarantine. But before like the quarantine happened, like I used to go like over. Obviously she wouldn't really go out because um, her baby was really little. But we hung out like a few times before when she was pregnant and then we hung out like after um Jaylene was born so I did go over to her house a few times and like hung out with them but obviously it's hard right now because I can't really go visit her because of the whole quarantine you know but yeah I do um I do keep in touch with her like I'm always texting her like asking her questions like she still helps me a lot with like my Instagram and like my YouTube like I still ask her questions and she's always there to help me out so yeah she's always been there for me um i can't talk while i'm doing my eyebrows so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish my eyebrows real quick and i'm actually to my eyebrows i like to use two products and it is the um gimme brow by benefit as well as the price per sizing my brow by benefit so i use these two so i'm just gonna go ahead and do them really quick because i can't do them while i'm talking i just i don't know why but i can't so um my eyebrows are pretty much done i don't really do much to them we got to the point where i was like you know what i was like i'm not gonna freaking try to fix them that's just the way they are so they're pretty uneven but i'm telling you guys i just gave up i'm just gonna go ahead and clean them up a little okay guys so my eyebrows are pretty much done as you guys can tell they're not very even but like i told you guys i gave up on my eyebrows because they always just come out the same so it is what it is so another question is how long have you and your man been together so we have actually been together we've been talking for a long a little bit longer but we have actually been together since june 13th that's when he asked me out he asked me out day before my birthday so now he has to celebrate our anniversary and he has to celebrate my birthday guys my birthday is coming up and i can't even do anything for my birthday but you know what it's okay because my health is more important so once everything is over then i can actually go ahead and celebrate but anyways back to the um question we have been together for almost a year and it's been a great year you know so i'm gonna be using of course the dream palette you guys already know this is like my favorite palette ever like how can it not be my favorite palette so i'm just going in with um boo boo which is a, like a really pretty um transition color and i know that a lot of people like to start off by um like from the outer in i always out yeah outer in i always out from the inside to the outer part i don't know why it just works for me so i'm using this um morphe e23 i love it it's just so perfect so all i do is just kind of blend it blend it blend it 
this is what I pretty much do. I'm using like a different mirror today because my other one wasn't charged and, and no me alcanzaba like to charge it. So I'm using a different one that has batteries. I'm like using it right now and it's, it's harder because the lighting is not as good. But yeah, this is pre pretty much what I do. And honestly, like um, it works for me. Like you guys already know, I always do like really like natural looking. Like I never do like dramatic looks. That's just, I don't know. That's just the way that I am. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and continue blending. So this is what it looks like once it's all blended out. I don't really do much to it. Just pretty much just the one color for my transition and just blend, blend, blend. And then just kind of make sure that it's even. So that's what it looks like. I'm going through my questions and a lot of questions have to do with me and George. So guys, you guys have to like this video. And leave comments so I can convince George to do a Q&A with me. That way you guys can get to know him a little more as well. So that's why there's so many questions like about me and George that I'm like, uh, I don't want to answer them. Like I want to, but then I'm like, I should just wait. But um, one of the questions does have to do with how is co-parenting working? Co-parenting is great. Like I don't have any, I'm not, I don't have any complaints. Like we get along for bash we communicate very well and i think that's like really important it would just suck to have like a really bad co-parenting experience so honestly in my from like my view i feel like we have a really good co-parenting i don't know we just have good communication with each other especially because you know when it comes to bash so yeah what are some must-haves for first-time mommies oh my gosh honestly that's kind of hard because it's been so long since I've had a newborn, like Bash is about to be four. Well, not about to, but he's like three and a half. So he's going to be four in November. So I don't really know anymore. Oh my gosh. I feel like for me, one of the, well, like the things that I use the most. Um, so obviously like a pump, just because if you're going to be breastfeeding, I really, really recommend a pump. Um, what are other like good must haves? I've always preferred the glass bottles over plastic bottles. I don't know. I just, they work better for me. <sighs> this is so hard. Can you guys help me out and answer these questions? Because honestly, like, I don't even know what must have. It's like, I think about it now. Like, if I have a baby, like, I'm not even going to know what to get anymore. I'm going to have to be, like, looking up videos and stuff to see what I get. So honestly, I don't really know. That's a hard one. Um, okay, so I actually have two palettes that um, Pixie sent me over. And I honestly don't know which one to use. I have never used these before. I mean, I've used, like, their palettes, but I've used other ones. And then I have these two right here. This one is the Eye Reflection Shadow Palette. And this one is the Eye Reflection Shadow... <laughs> okay, they're two different palettes, but they say the same thing. But, oh, one of them is called Natural Beauty. And the other one is Reflex Light. Reflex? Reflex? Reflex Light? Okay, so these are the two palettes. And these are colors that I always use. And, um... I'm going to be showing you guys my outfit at the end of the video, which is going to be a black dress. So I feel like I can do any color. So I kind of want to try um, this one right here. I don't know. I just, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this one looks really pretty. So I think I'm going to try that one. See how it looks. And I'm going to be using the cream color E58. I don't know if this is cream, but let's go ahead and try. Guys, my nails are so so bad i haven't gotten my nails done in like months and the thing is that i have a really bad habit of biting my nails i know it's such a nasty habit but this that's the reason why i always like to get my nails done because i have a nasty freaking habit of biting my nails since i started like my new job like i can't really have long nails anymore so yeah sucks but i always kind of do like more natural looking nails but now my nails are like, oh, I don't even want to, I don't even want to show them. So this color is really pretty, but um, the only thing is that I have to keep like adding because like no, I don't know. I just I feel like I have to keep adding like layers and layers of it so it can be. And it does have a little bit of fallout. Not too bad though, but I guess that's why some people like to do their their um, eyeshadow before. So. But I think that's that's good enough, you guys can tell. So I have this weird thing that I do with my eye. This, like I can close one eye without like blinking or without closing the other one. And it's so funny because Bash does the same exact thing. And at first I was like, what? I was like, how does... And then I was like, duh. I was like, I do the same thing. So, yeah. I'm going to do the other eye real quick. 
I hope it's like focusing good because sometimes it like unfocuses. So it looks cute or whatever, but the only thing is that I feel like I have to keep adding like layers and layers of it. I wonder if it would have been easier if I would have used my finger. Oh no, maybe. So what I like to do is whatever um a highlighter I'm gonna use, I like to um put it on like my what is, what is this called? I just had a brain fart. But I like to put in this part of like the arches of my eyebrow. So I'm gonna be using this one. It's the I Love Sara E and Dose of Colors Color Lab. And I freaking love this Soulmate. Soulmate. Get it? Soulmate. Soulmate. So I'm gonna be applying a little teeny bit of this on my the arches. Is that what it's called? Like the arches of my eyebrows? I don't even know, dude. It's been so long since I've since I've done like a makeup video that I'm like lost. Like I don't even know how to talk anymore. So yeah, I just put a little bit just to kind of like highlight my brow bone. Is that what it is? Brow bone? Yes, just correct me. It's honestly been a while since I've done this. So for my um bronzer, I'm going to be using the chocolate solely ale by Too Faced. This is an old bronzer that I have and I haven't used it until recently. I started using it again. My favorite bronzer is um oh my gosh, I keep forgetting. It's by Decisions Formula. Oh my gosh, I forgot the name of it. That bronzer is so bomb. So I ran out of that. So I just went through my makeup and I found that I had this one. So this one's actually worked out and it smells really good. It smells like chocolate. Somebody asked me how I'm holding up during this quarantine. Honestly, I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job. I've been really good about following the rules and like staying quarantined. Like we don't go out. I know I've seen a lot of people already like starting to go out and stuff. But I, I mean, I don't. I feel like they haven't lifted the stay at home like so i don't know why people are going out but i mean to each their own you know everybody makes their own choices me i just worry about like my family a lot like my loved ones like my mom and i worry about like sebastian i don't want sebastian to get sick like i definitely don't want sebastian to get sick i don't want like my nieces and nephews to get sick i just feel like i think more about like my family than myself so yeah, sometimes I want to go out and do stuff that I see other people doing, but I'm like, is it really worth it? Like, what if one of my family members gets sick and then what, like, what do you do, you know? So, yeah, I just, I feel like I've been holding up pretty good. I mean, the only thing that sucks is that I don't work and um, I'm not having an income right now. So that's the one thing that does suck, but George is working, so I know he's like holding it down for me and I know this is all going to get better soon. So honestly, I'm not really too worried about it but yeah oh my god annoying dog it's like the neighbor's dog is like being so loud right now um so for my um blush i'm using the core de rosa aura aura powder face powder so um this is what it looks like it's like a really pretty um blush so and i'm gonna be using the morphe y5 this is one of my favorite blush um brushes so yeah the whole quarantine thing like i'm telling you guys like i don't know i feel like once like the stay at home um thing is lifted then i'll probably be able to go out more often but i'm still gonna be really careful because i feel like right now people just i don't know i just don't like to really talk about it either because i everybody has their own opinion about it it's kind of like religion and politics like everyone has their own their own like opinion about it but my opinion is i think people should still try to be careful and not go out as much because i just think it's too soon but yeah i just like i told you guys i just really think about my family a lot and i just don't want to see anybody get sick so that's my thing what are your long-term goals honestly guys it's just my i feel like one of my biggest goals for like the longest time has been to like grow my youtube channel grow my instagram and i feel like um it's been so hard just because there's so many like um there's so much competition like there's so many people doing youtube and i just feel like it's hard but honestly like i don't want to give up like i feel like there's i've been doing it for what almost like five years now i believe and um it's just like i don't want to give up on it sometimes i'm like i sometimes i do feel like giving up just because i'm like oh, i feel like i'm never gonna get anywhere but that's why 
I've been trying to do different like videos. I do my vlogs, but then I also want to do like I've been doing hauls for you guys and then I also like today I decided I wanted to do like a makeup video. It's more like a get ready with me because I feel like I don't really do like makeup videos anymore. I just do makeup just for fun. My goal is to eventually like open up my own business, like to have a family. Like that's one of my biggest goals is to have like my family, like get married and have more kids. Like I just want to have like a big family. So I want to be financially stable. I feel like that's something that's something that everybody wants, but I just really want to be financially stable because that's been so hard especially because I feel like where we live everything is so expensive so yeah those are some of my goals so somebody asked if I'm pregnant and honestly this is a question that I get asked all the time or people just assume that I'm pregnant like on my Instagram sometimes people just like assume that I'm pregnant and it's kind of like you can't just assume that someone is pregnant and the thing is that like I get it I feel like because I've gained weight um I used to be like 105 like I think the most I weighed before was like 109 and then I weighed like 115 and then I couldn't go past like 115 and then um when I started like dating George I feel like my whole like mood just completely changed like um he just made me feel so good about myself and I feel like my mental health and like my I don't know just everything like my emotional health everything just kind of like boosted and then i just started gaining weight and i i don't think because i know a lot of people always ask me like can you give me tips on like how to gain weight and honestly like i didn't do anything special like to gain weight before i did try like um i tried working out i tried like eating so much like i was doing so many things to gain weight and i just couldn't but it was just because i was in such a like messed up like mental like and like emotional like i was just mentally and emotionally messed up so I was always stressed out. I had so much going on and I feel like when I met George, everything changed. And then, um, I don't know, like we eat a lot now and you guys know like he's a cook so he makes like some bomb ass food for me. And then, I don't know, I just feel like when you're happy and like you're with the right person, like you just glow up in such a like, not just physically but like mentally and like emotionally. So I feel like that's why, um, I've been gaining weight just because I'm really happy now and I'm like stress free like I don't worry about anything I mean yeah I worry about things like normal things here and there but not like before so I feel like that's what's really helped me and honestly guys like I weigh like almost 140 right now and it's crazy because when I was pregnant with Sebastian I weighed 138 and now I'm like not pregnant and I weigh one one the last time I weighed myself I weighed 137 but it's so weird because I have like a really fast like metabolism and then i also have like ibs like i told you guys so i feel like that was also something that wouldn't let me like gain weight because everything every time i would eat like everything would just go like right through me so the whole like pregnancy thing um like sometimes on my instagram i just get people assuming that i'm pregnant and they'll be like oh my god congratulations like you look so pretty like you're pregnant and i'm like i'm not pregnant but thanks i do want to have more babies i plan on having more babies but i feel like when that time comes like i'm actually gonna go ahead and like announce it like i'm not gonna hide it obviously i'll probably hide it like for the first like three months but just so you guys know like i'm on birth control like like my birth control is like literally like right here and once i take that out it's still gonna probably take me a while to get pregnant so yeah i'm not pregnant so <laughs> And I'm not, I don't get mad when people ask me that I'm pregnant. It's just sometimes it's a little bit annoying because it's like when I used to be really skinny, everyone would be like, oh my God, like you need to put on some weight. And then like now that I gain weight, it's like, oh, you're, you're fat. And I'm like, I don't think I'm fat. I just gain weight. And then this quarantine, my so I don't do anything. Okay, so I'm pretty much almost done, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and put on my mascara which is the Too Faced Born This Way this like literally like my all time favorite mascara I love this mascara so much um I'm literally like almost out of it so I'm gonna have to go or put place an order on Sephora cause um I'm running out but yeah this is my favorite I have really long eyelashes already so I don't really wear falsies you guys have seen me wear falsies like here and there once in a while but I don't really wear falsies. I feel like I don't really need to. And honestly, like, I suck at putting them on anyway, so. Yeah, okay. It's so weird, like, putting it on. I feel like everybody puts on mascara so much different. Like, everybody has their own way of, like, putting on mascara. Okay, let me do the other eye.
sometimes when I like put on mascara I get it like on my lid and I get so annoyed oh I just got it on my like oh my god this is so annoying so I just got it like right there But it's okay. All I do is literally just go in with some. Sometimes I make it worse, but you can't really tell, you know. I feel like my makeup has always been very like non-dramatic. I feel like I have done dramatic with before, semi. But that's only when like Jasmine would like when I would do it with like Jasmine because she was she'd be really good at helping me do it. But I feel like when I do it on my own, I just do something super simple. But she really like pushes me to do like something dramatic out of like my comfort zone, which I really love because then I end up looking like my makeup ends up looking all bomb and professional. But um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes, and I'm using I like to use for my bottom lashes I like to use a roller lash by Benefit. So I'm just gonna put um you guys can't really tell, but I'm just gonna put a little bit. Lately I've just been doing like um um lipstick and then. Uh, lip gloss so i'm gonna be using quickie this is the makeup and um makeup by shayla and claire fault claire so i'm just gonna do this mm -hmm. it's like a peachy nude really pretty and then i'm going to be using over the top this is such an old lip gloss this is the desi and katie collab with those of colors and I'm almost out of this. I don't even know if you can still buy this. I remember one time I did a get ready with me or something. And somebody commented and was like, she doesn't even know how to put on lipstick. And I was like, oh, I didn't know there was like a right way to do your lipstick. I feel like there is no right or wrong way. Like, I feel like whatever you're comfortable with, however you like to do your makeup is, you know, I don't know. It's kind of like expression. Like, you're, you're allowed to express yourself and wear makeup however you want. You know so the last thing that i do once my makeup is all done is i actually go ahead and use a setting spray so my favorite setting spray at the moment is this setting spray by pixie but yes it might go like i literally ran out but this is the rose glow mist by pixie it's this one right here and i like it because it has like a i don't know like glitter in it not like nasty glitter it's like the cute type of glitter like you guys know what i mean so i would spray it and it just makes my face look all like nice and like glossy and like perfect for this weather because it's so nice out so that's the one that i really like but that one's a it, it finished so i was actually using the the other one this other one that it's the glow mist by pixie but i don't really like how it smells like it kind of reminds me of like viejita perfume so i don't know but i still use it it's kind of like my backup but i recently got this one from pop beauty um it's a make makeup magnet mist so this one um i just started barely i barely started using it and i really like how like it finishes my makeup so i'm just gonna go ahead and spray it mm. and this one smells really really good it kind of smells like peppermint and like reminds me of like a candy cane like christmas that's what it reminds me of i'm gonna go ahead and change into my outfit mm, so i can look cute or whatever and then i'm gonna um put my hair i think my hair i'm just gonna do like a sock bun i haven't done that in a while so i will be right back hey guys so i changed um i did my hair so i was gonna do a sock bun you guys remember the sock buns i actually wasn't gonna use a sock i actually have the little thing that you put on but I did it and I just wasn't feeling it with the outfit. I felt like my sock bun looked too fancy for my outfit. I don't know. So I ended up just doing a high ponytail and I think it looks way cuter. So my dress, I'm actually wearing a dress and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on in a bit. But my dress is actually from Shein. So, so cute. It's just black and I like, like how it looks from here. Like I'm showing off my shoulders, you know. And I'm actually wearing one of those like sticky bras, but honestly... This bra is a little too small for me because my boobs did get a little bit bigger <laughs> since I've gained weight. So I just have to probably get a bigger size. But for now, this works. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and wait for George to get home because he gets off early today. So we're going to get to hang out, probably go get something to eat. He should be getting off soon. So um, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, share subscribe and also make sure that you guys leave some comments down in the comment section for george so that me and him can do a 
boyfriend girlfriend q a so you guys can get to know him and you guys can so we can spill the tea on like our relationship and like how we met and all that good stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next one